how I passed my AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam in nine days. Welcome to Code with Femi. If you are a new subscriber, I thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and for the existing subscribers. I appreciate you guys for your love and for your support. In this actual video, we're going to be covering the topic on how I passed my exam and we're going to be starting with you know, the introduction of what the exam is all about. We're going to how I prepared for the exam and then move on to the exam format and the actual cost of the actual exam. And then we're going to wrap it up with some updates that is going to happen like very soon in terms of you know this exam so let's jump right straight into it so what is aws certified solutions architect associate this is actually an exam that actually validates your ability to design and implement distributed systems on aws like if you're like someone like me that is actually very very you know interested in you know developing solutions that are robust like enterprise solutions that can actually you know be able to serve businesses in a large scale um, you would want to consider writing this exam and for me i actually went into it because i have the desire to actually go deeper into you know developing enterprise solutions and you know big large scale solutions that can actually be highly available and that can easily scale up um, based on the demand so in terms of the actual exam preparation i actually made use of udemy material kits to help me prepare for this so i bought the actual um, ultimate um, AWS certified solutions architect associate kit from Stefan Marik and I also bought another material which is the practice exam from Udemy these were the two key resources I actually made use of to actually pass my exam but the actual study material that I got through Udemy is actually a study material that that gives you information about the aws services the different services it's quite a lot of them you know you you learn about im ec2 s3 vpc there's just a lot but they actually dive deep into these different services and actually give you more in much insight as to how you can even use them to develop distributed systems so the actual study material is actually in total 27 hours of of video content and what i did was i actually watched each of those the different um topics that is covered in in the actual material and i you know took notes of the key you know the key points that are really like crucial for me to be able to um, pass the exam but the actual practice exam kit that actually has like about 390 questions it's a six set of practice exams that you can actually take this actually prepares you for you know it's like a mock exam it prepares you for the real exam and you can actually like um, once you actually go through it like a normal exam they give you feedback questions you've got wrong and why you got it wrong and what is the, the right answer so i would say for me the way i approach the the actual practice um, exams is like i take one like i take like two in a day and i just go through it as 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 much as i can and use that as well to compare with the notes i've taken and even add more information to my notes to see like what are the things i'm not getting right you know because there are cases where um you you think you know the answer but it's not really the, the right answer but from that i could actually consolidate like have a, a much more rich note and that actually helped me because then i could revise those notes and be able to use that to really really you know prepare me for the end so now let's talk about the exam format and the cost the actual exam format is, is 65 questions multiple choice where you can pick one answer for a, a question or um, two or more in some in some questions 
and the the actual um, length of the exam is 130 minutes you need to finish the exam within 130 minutes and also the actual cost of the exam is 150 dollars but if you've actually passed your aws certified cloud practitioner exam you get 50 percent off this exam isn't that amazing in terms of the actual approach i took for the exam i actually went and you know answer the ones that i could really i i, I do know the ans answers quickly like those, those are the ones i actually tackled first because the difficult ones i left those ones for later and this is because i don't want to waste too much time trying to figure out what you know those answers are that actually helped me you know to to ensure that i could um gain as much time to be able to focus on the difficult ones and when it was time for me to focus on the difficult ones um there were cases where you know i was done with every you know even the difficult ones i actually you know try to you know guess some of the answers in some cases and then um after i was fully done i had i think i had like about an hour left so what i did was i went back again to each answers that i've actually you know um provided for each question and i actually you know start asking myself is this actually the real answer and i and i can tell you there were some cases that i had to change some of my answers because <laughs> like when i saw it again i was like no this is not right so you might have to you know think about the tactics you want to also use in terms of you know approaching the exam and don't panic you know you just have to relax and uh, you i'm definitely sure you're going to excel in it so let's speak about the difficulty of the exam and, and as well as my score the difficulty i would say it's quite like a medium like a medium it's it's something that you must actually in a way have some sort of like an experience using aws services and also i want to say that it's it's gonna be advisable for you to actually have some sort of like an hands-on experience you know you, you know doing you know working on on some of this um, AWS services and my score actually was 800 813 that was what I got over 1000 and the actual cutoff mark of the exam is 720 you, once you have 720 and above then you've actually passed the exam so this is actually the important part of the video it is very crucial due to the rapid pace of innovation on the aws platform aws have decided to roll out new updates on the aws certified solutions architect associate exam so what does this mean for those that are actually studying currently for this exam this means that you have until the 29th of August 2022 to write this exam. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a situation where you have to get new study materials, um, download the new exam guide in terms of how to prepare for this exam. Because it will mean that the old materials you're using are outdated that's it guys i hope you guys can actually take these tips and actually use it in order to excel in your exam and if you want to actually even get more information um, from my previous exam that i did you can actually have a look at the video i did on how i passed my aws certified cloud practitioner because i actually covered things like how you know on the exam day you know what kind of you know settings you should have to be able to prepare yourself for the exam and um i will actually see you guys in my next video keep walking